In today's quick tip, let's look again at the transparency mask as it was highly requested by many of you. A transparency mask links with a specific layer in your artwork. When you apply a transparency mask to a layer, it affects the opacity of that layer's contents. The trick is to use only two colors, black or white. When you use a black colored brush, you will hide pixels. When you use a white colored brush, you will reveal pixels. Now as a quick reminder, to switch between the black and white colors, just hit the X letter on your keyboard. Do not compare a transparency mask to an eraser. An eraser will alter an image for good, unless of course you can undo your erasing on time using the Ctrl Z option. A transparency mask is a non-destructive way to edit your artwork. The pixels are never erased, they are just a hidden. When using different shades of grey, the pixels will become more or less transparent depending on how dark or light your grey colored brush will be. The same thing will happen when you use different colors. To add a transparency mask, right-click anywhere on the layer. When this menu appears, go to Add and select Add Transparency Mask. Click on the little arrow right next to the plus sign button. When the layer menu appears, select Add Transparency Mask. You know that you are on a mask because the color wheel switches to a grayscale mode. If you click back on your original layer, the color wheel goes back to normal. I have the tail of this baby dragon on a separate layer. I am going to use the move tool and place the tail closer. I want to add a transparency mask to the tail. So I'm going to right click on the layer and do so. Very quickly, let me grab my brush. Since the foreground is already set to the black color, I can go ahead and hide the lines I don't need. Let's say that I changed my mind and I want to move the tail somewhere else. Before moving the tail, I will need first to click on the original layer to activate it. Alright, so let's get back to the move tool and move the tail a little higher this time. By the way, and just for your information, you always move parts of an image from the original layer. Please don't move anything when you are in the transparency mask. Ok, so now that we are done, back to the transparency layer. I am going to grab my brush one more time and hit the X key on my keyboard to switch from black to white. This way, I can reveal all the lines I had hidden earlier. And voilà, done. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.